I said I wouldn't talk about this, but I have to. I can't stop it. I feel pretty disgusted by the diet. I'm just getting sick of the meats. It's so rich and fatty, and I'm just like, oh God. I'm so often nauseous. Almost every day for at least a few hours, I'm like, oh God. The amount of stupidity you can find on the internet is limitless. So it doesn't really surprise me that many people are now jumping on the carnivore bandwagon. The carnivore diet has no scientific research or solid evidence to back up all their claims. So again, it doesn't surprise me that some of its biggest promoters aren't very intelligent. Fully carnivore for just a week. This is not something I'm recommending as like a healthy diet. We definitely don't have enough science yet to know if this is healthy long term. Here is just a small taste of some of the delusional and often dangerous claims the carnivore cult leaders like to promote. It's more or less as big of a conspiracy as the earth being flat. Cancer is actually your friend. All the people that you see around you who are living an unnatural lifestyle. My computer is natural. My computer is natural. My computer is natural. What do you believe is keeping them alive? It's literally cancer. Total testosterone was 237. The free testosterone was 5.5. Am I reading that correct? Yeah, yeah, they were low. They were low. I repeated that actually again, and they were still, they were a little bit higher, but still low. The best thing for you to do is to consume lots of cholesterol. It's not my fault that everything mainstream media and science push are backward profit-making lies. It's not my fault that you and everyone else are all worth more money when you believe that kale is a health food, bacon is dangerous, and that you live on a fucking spinning flying ball. We receive information from the cosmos through sun gazing. And uh, there's also the other thing that uh, our intelligence increases. And um, that's because uh, of the sun-powered brain, so to speak. That's what people call it. So uh, it's those two things combined that uh, do this give us this enlightenment, so to speak. Did you ever stop to think that our intrinsic relationship with bacon and how it tastes and how it smells might mean something. A vegan or vegetarian diet plus working out and drinking loads of water is a recipe for water addiction, malnutrition, severe dehydration, and a fat deficiency. When you become fat deficient, you get really thirsty and then you drink more water. And that water washes away even more of your nutrients and fatty acids, making you even thirstier. And then the cycle continues, making you a great consumer having to drink water all the time and buy more lotion for your dry ass skin and- So, if water is so terrible and drying, why are you putting crap all over your face, Daphne? Why, Daphne, why? I mean, it wasn't that long ago I was drinking turpentine and killed- So why would anybody want to eat beans and rice for economical purposes? Oh, that's right. So that they can save up for their hospital bills. I pretty much can't afford this diet anymore. What I tried is eating the beef uh, leg and the bone marrow inside of the uh, bone. For whatever reason, I got this bacteria called Campylobacterium enteritis something. <laughs> I'll write it in the description. And uh, what I actually got was one of the rarest cases where uh, rare, more rare than others. People usually don't get this, is that my muscles started uh, stopped working and it took me a month now to actually get fully recovered from it i couldn't really open the door I... i've just been noticing some weird pains in my spine and my elbow and it's just like it's not workout pains it's like scurvy pirate pains and the frail, gangly looking, whole foods pushing, fake anti-Semites that are all knees and elbows probably aren't too happy when they find that I don't even have so much as a late library book or a parking ticket. To Admittedly, parking tickets and library books, they, they, they don't phase me, like whatever. But if I were going to make a straw man argument against Daphne, 
it would be that she likes to compare transvestites to vegetable soup. This is what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about an intact carrot, a pretend carrot, a sad, lonely, distraught, offended carrot that has been stripped of everything that really makes them a carrot and a whole celery, a whole happy celery and a whole happy carrot. See that? Now, how this works is you're going to imagine a bowl, not bowl, a pot, a pot of potato soup cooking, bubbling. And in that pot, there are onions and spices and seasonings and salt and pepper and potatoes and it's just, it's all, it's all cooking together and it smells really delicious. But potato soup is not potato soup because of potatoes. Potato soup is potato soup because of carrots and celery. But the carrots and celery have to be carrots and celery. We can't just say we're gonna put in put in these and this will be enough. We can't just say we'll put in these and that this will be enough. We need whole carrot, we need whole celery. And they have to do their individual jobs as carrot and celery. I shit myself for the first time in my adult life. And I view my subscribers as intelligent, independent thinkers. <laughs> yeah. Daphne Milkjar, Sean Baker, Sparja, and all their followers are very much indeed special little snowflakes. You have now just had a small taste of what these carnivore cult leaders like to promote. Do yourself a favor, step out of your mother's basement, go to school, get an education, and if you do find yourself having various health problems, seek out a licensed, trained professional instead of looking for information on the internet. Anyways guys, I hope all of you around this beautiful round planet are doing well. Please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye